चमके नयन दम के है मन अहो भाग्य है ये हमारे नेवर वी कम टू फीजी इट्स लाइक होम कमिंग फॉर अस ये लगता It has been so for these many years. Fiji padhare hai, harshit hai tan. Udvalinda ya namaha, hiranya. There are so many countries we visit across all continents almost. Everywhere I don't go and tell build a hospital, build this an ashram, build this, build that. But to the people of Fiji, I really give a mountain to carry. Sri Rama did not tell anybody else. He went to Hanuman and told, "You alone can save Lakshmana. Bring that Sanjeevani her." That Sanjeevani saved one Lakshmana. And today, when Sri Satyasai Sanjeevani Children's Heart Hospital. stands tall in this tiny island nation really in the middle of nowhere this sanjeevani says hundreds of lakshmanas and all those children are dear to me like lakshmana was dear to rama i stand before you with unwavering conviction that this hospital stands as a beacon of hope where the children of fiji and the pacific have triumphed 277 life-saving heart surgeries have been performed and over 16000 echocardiograms completely free of charge on this historic day on the second anniversary of this of this hospital i have much pleasure in announcing the establishment of the sri madhusudan sai institute of higher medical sciences and research right here in fiji Sai Sanjivani Hospital is truly a godsend for Fiji and the region. The establishment and the incredible success of the Sai Sanjivani Hospital is like a fantastic hard to believe tale. Until you look at the founding trustees and the directors and their incredible vision and commitment to make this dream come true. Fiji has been a shining example of this collaborative effort of the whole world because so many countries came together to build the hospital and to run the hospital so many of the doctors and medical professionals have lent their support from around the world it's truly an example of what can be done when the world comes together as one family to save the children to save the people and i'm very grateful for the gracious grant that was given by the government of fiji and we are very honored and grateful that you receive us so well you support us we run hospitals in several countries as you have already seen but the best support we have got is from the people of fiji from the government of fiji <laughs> to all the others who are here especially the children who are who are operated here we work only for you we work for the children of the world for the less privileged for the marginalized we love fiji we love the children of fiji and we as a foundation global foundation are committed to doing whatever we can to help more and more children and the people of fiji and as was being mentioned by the honorable prime minister that efforts are being made to build a hospital with cardiac facilities for the adults too and we also want to contribute our bit 
In the month of June, a team from our medical college, which also has a cardiac department, will be visiting Fiji to understand and assess how we can help in providing adult cardiac uh, healthcare services in Fiji. Um, with the work that you're doing in India and uh, you know, it's, it's and around the world, it's just truly phenomenal. How do you manage to work uh, you know, across 32 countries and the different time zones as well? You can answer it better because you're working in Fiji for the same mission through Sai Prima Foundation. And how this work happens is because there are so many committed people around the world who work so hard because they're driven by this passion of compassion to serve the people. So the idea is that this all-comprehensive supreme source of goodness that divinity is manifests in all of you. And all I do is just trigger that, just light that spark, that bring that inspiration and things happen. Whether they are Nigerians or Americans or Sri Lankans, Fijians or Southeast Asians, wherever we are working, they all have shown the same response to this one call to do good to humanity. God is a great entertainer for he creates this amazing drama of the world where we all play our parts in our own way. If you consider the whole world as a big drama stage, all the people are characters, they all have their entrances at some point in time and exits at another time. So this one scene at Fiji is coming to an end. We entered the scene, we celebrated this particular act for a week long in Fiji and now we are exiting this particular act of Fiji and going back to perform other roles in other places. But not for a moment we should forget who we are. And who we truly are is divine. Who we truly are is nothing but God. Everything else is a superposition, a costume, a mask, an act that we have to perform. But deep down inside all of us is the same divinity that acts in so many ways. For the same divine takes so many forms and names and performs so many roles. In the process we smile, we cry, we fight, we, we reconcile, we meet, we part, we give, we take. So many things happen in this play of God. If there was no child with a congenital heart disease, there was no need for a hospital like this, there was no need for you and me to sit and discuss all this. There was no scene, no drama, no play. But that is how the Divine has designed everything. We all have a role, we have, we have a responsibility, we have been given a task. There is a purpose with which we live. And the real purpose for all of us is ultimately to realize that we are Divine and be in tune with the Divinity all the time, never deviating from that. And that will help us to do the right things always. And such a life will never meet with regrets at the end. And I think that the day will come when we all be called to exit the stage. And how much ever we want to stay on and continue our roles, we will not be allowed. Let that day be a day of rejoicing and celebrating that we did the best. Let me hear the thunderous applause from the audience who have seen us live a good life. <laughs>